Roslindale. My name is Aaliyah Hamada Forrest. I'm the director of Roslindale Village Main Street. And today, as part of Rosie Reveals, we are going up to the second floor of 20 Belgrade, which in the past two years has been totally renovated. So I'm excited to meet the business owners of all of these businesses. We're going to peek inside rooms. It's going to be awesome. What's your name? My name is Holly. And what? What is this place, and what is your business? This is um, this is my healing space. Welcome, and um, my business is helping people let go of all kinds of different things and move through things. Um, Shamanic Reiki Master is my title, so that's it. Sounds really weird and bizarre, but sounds it's a, great. It sounds it's a combination of a lot of ancient wisdoms. Um, but people come to see me to help move through grief from, you know, partners' losses, um, miscarriages, help to let go of things to get ready and prep for weddings or to move forward. Riverwomanministries.com is my website and River Woman Healing is my Facebook page. And so I also have, um, some free events, Reiki shares, uh, classes where I teach people how to make essential oil sprays to replace um, like the odor, you know, the, I can't say a brand name, of the deodorizers that have neurotoxins, um, like all natural muscle rub, those kind of things. So I have a lot of free things that people can pop in and do classes. It does smell very nice in here. What, what am I smelling right now? You are smelling from the diffuser, um, a combination of Palo Santo and cedar oil. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for letting us in. This is beautiful. So, Lisa, tell us yes. about your business. So, I'm a photographer, as you mentioned, and my specialty is helping people feel comfortable in front of the camera so they can be themselves and feel natural and not be all stiff and weird and awkward. Um, I do a lot of wedding photography. As you can see, there's wedding photos up on the wall. This is the space mostly where I meet with couples before their wedding to talk through various logistics. Um, I also do family portraits work with a lot of nonprofit groups. So anytime somebody needs a story told through photos, especially if they're a little nervous about it, that's my favorite thing. What do you think is the best part about Roslindale? I think the best part, from my perspective, I have little kids, I have four-year-old twins, and the best part about Roslindale is that there's kids everywhere, families everywhere, so much fun things to do, so much beautiful outdoor space. For, for the kids, that's the best part for me. And how do you, have you collaborated with businesses on this floor? We haven't yet. We know each other. And I think we're a super cool powerhouse of women business owners that we should be doing. We should do something super cool, but we haven't yet. We haven't figured that out. Um, I think there might be something coming. It's all women business owners it's on this floor. It's all women. Yeah. Yeah. It's all women in the arts and the healing arts. And it's really, really powerhouse. Yeah. So something might be coming. I think we are hosting, we will be hosting artists for Roslindale Open Studios. This will be an artist showcase space, so that will be something fun. But there will be more collaborations down the road, for sure. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. What is your practice here? I'm a licensed acupuncturist, so I offer acupuncture treatments mm -hmm. and um, also yoga therapy. I'm a certified yoga therapist as well, but the main focus is acupuncture. Cool. And yes. how did you find this space? It's so hidden from uh, a lot of people in Roslindale. I think I, I found it from a Facebook post, actually, that Jess Alvarez put up because oh, cool. she's one of the healers in this space. And so I'm working with her, and there are a few of us that are rotating and using it a few days a week, which is a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. So we've got our own little cooperative coalition going here for healing. And what is your business called, like the uh, official name? The official name for my business is Boston Wellness Center. Okay. Yes. And you opened pretty recently. Well, here I opened just a few months ago, but the Boston Wellness Center has been around since 2003. 
actually. And it started out mostly as just yoga instruction, yoga therapy, Ayurvedic consultation, and Reiki. And then we've just added acupuncture into the mix in the last year. And so I needed a, a actual physical space. The yoga and yoga therapy was more traveling around to different locations, corporations, schools, hospitals, things like that. So it's nice to have a home now and to be in this community in Roslindale Village. And how have people um, that are local, how have they heard about your practice? Mm. Well, I think a lot of them saw uh, some of the announcements in the blast emails that you guys send oh, out, which has been newsletter. really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then a lot of people knew me as a yoga instructor. I've been teaching in West Roxbury, Westwood for about 15 years. Okay. So a lot of my patients are from, from that. And then I have another location also in Roslindale up at Chiropractic Naturally oh, on yeah. Belgrade Avenue. Near Star Yoga. Yes, mm -hmm. right next door. And I'm there on Fridays, so Dr. Marcella sends me her patients. Very cool. So, yeah. So, Alex. <laughs> yes. Tell me about tell me about your business on this floor. All right. Well, I am in unit eight on this floor. I'm a yoga therapist, so I see clients one on one. I also work with couples to do couples yoga therapy. I also sublet the space to two other businesses. One is a doula businesses. They offer birth support services, prenatal, postpartum, everything in between. Um, and I also sublet to a mind-body therapist um, like me who works with the body to support clients, and her name is Carmen Leah Asensio. Cool. So what is yoga therapy? That's a great question. Most people don't know, even though a lot of people know what yoga is now. So it's basically the reasons why you would go to a yoga class and the reasons why you would go to a talk therapist and then the reasons why you would get a massage all put together. Wow. So I use dialogue in my client sessions while doing yoga poses and I also offer body work in the experience. So I work with people struggling with anxiety and depression, which sometimes seems like it's everyone. Mm -hmm. um, also working with PTSD and trauma and general stress. And if you, if you were to name this floor, since it's so unique, mm. it's got all women owned businesses. Mm -hmm. It's got healing arts, it's got art, I know this is a, a like <laughs> a question out of nowhere, but like, yeah. have you named this floor? You know, um, Jess Alvarez and I were the the first two uh, wellness practitioners to exist here together, and um, there was definitely this vision for like a a wellness community center in Roslindale. So it seems like we're making our way there with. Um, you know, all the different services that are here, but really a lot of healing arts that are available too. Yeah. So what would you say makes Roslindale a unique place to live and work? It's, it's got so much to offer without any of the attitude. Um, people here are just really happy to have a home community here and to support the local businesses, to show up at the farmer's market and local events that you guys do, which is so amazing. And there's just such a sense of community, I think, in large part because of Roslindale Village Main Street's really pulling people together and creating communication um, about what's out there and what's available. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> that was really nice. So this is Nancy. She's the executive director of Music Connects. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit about sure. this place? Sure. Yeah. So Music Connects is... 11 years old and we offer um, string instruction to uh, to students primarily in Mattapan and Dorchester and then we also have a, uh, a Rosendale community program that we have here at 20 Belgrade um, and we provide violins, violas, and cellos uh, and individual one-on-one -on -one instruction to students and um, group and chamber instruction to students. And how long have you been in Roslindale? We have been in Roslindale almost from the beginning, I think. We started at an elementary school in Roslindale. Um, Which one? The, we were at the Sumner and the, Sumner and the Chittick, and I think Sumner is, in, is Roslindale, right? Yep. Sumner and Roslindale. Um, and we actually even have a quartet named after it. 
um, the Summer Quartet. Yes, they play at our farmer's market. We do play at the farmer's market. Um, yeah, and we love playing here everywhere. We're, um, I think right now we're trying to put together a group to play for the um, Porch Fest. Oh, cool. Yeah, last year I think we played in front of Fornax in That's the parklet. Right. Yes. And yeah, are so you going to do that again this year? Um, I think so. I'm going to try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else should people know about Music Connects? People should know that we're here, uh-huh. here, 20 Razzie Belgrade, Reveals. Razzie Reveals, <laughs> where in the world is Music Connects, um, and that uh, we're a nonprofit organization, uh, and that we operate on grants and donations. We've met a lot of people in the neighborhood um, by doing other Rosendale activities. For example, last year we did um, um, Rosendale Open Studios, and we hosted three or four artists here, and we're going to be doing that again this year. Um, so we're really interested in meeting people in the community. If anybody ever wants to come up and just kind of see what we do, um, come on up and hear some kids play, or uh, also our quartets rehearse here, so you can hear some professional musicians play. Oh. In the summer, we open up our windows so that when the quartets are rehearsing, you can probably hear it out in, uh, in the village. So I love how they're renovating the building. Um, you know, they're using all the original doors. I guess they found these in the basement and uh, renovated them and put new glass in them. And it's it's really cool that they're keeping the building to what it used to be and bringing it back to to what it used to be. It looks great. The floors look great. They redid all the floors. Obviously, there was you know tile down there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a great space. And all women. And all women, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's all women businesses right now, which is really neat. Thank you so much for watching this video, Roslindale. If you're interested in seeing more, click subscribe to subscribe to our channel.